Welcome to your 10th JavaScript tutorial here. And today we're going to be learning event handling and other uh, methods that I miss for strings. Now these methods are really important, really used. This method is basically used to turn strings into arrays. So we're going to write our basic strings. We're going to do var data equals, I'm going to name some names. I'm going to put Bob. Oh, without those spaces, Mac, Chris, and just one more. I'm just going to think of something. Come on, come to my head. I'm going to put Ty, Ty Co. The person that I bought this mic from. And then after that, we're going to make a new variable called new array. We're going to make it equal to data dot split, I believe it's called. Yeah, split. And in the split, we're going to put a, uh, where do we want it to split? So we're going to make it split in where it finds a comma. So basically what it does here, okay, so we have a data. It's just like an array, basically, but a whole bunch of strings. Basically, you can make a, a user enter all that. You want them to separate them to a list. Now, the way we're going to do that is by using the split method. It's going to split Bob. It's not going to count anything else. It's going to go. It's going to Bob's going to be the first line. Mag's going to be the second line. Chris going to be the third line. Basically, we're going to use a for loop. You guys remember for loop? I hope so. And let's get started. So first, we're going to display the whole entire line document just to make sure we didn't skip a name or anything like that. So document and we're going to display data. Next, we're going to use a for loop. We're going to do a for, basic for loop. You guys should know how to do a for loop by now. If not, you can see it on tutorial number eight, I believe. So I'm going to do i equals zero. Then we're going to do i is less than, I believe there's four names. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Or you can actually make this to a variable, a variable and you can just do new, new array dot length. But we're not doing that right now. All right. And then after that, we have to increment by one. Don't forget that. If you do forget that, you're going to have an infinite loop. And you guys really don't want that. So here we go. We have our basic loop. And let's just get started, guys. So here we're going to do a uh, <clears throat> basic for loop. Like I said, we're going to do document. And I spell that wrong again, document, right? And here, remember, it's an array. So you're going to do array and put I. So I is equal to zero right now. So it's going to do Bob. Then I is going to increment by one. So it's going to equal one. It's going to do Mac. It's going to go, go on and go on until it reaches end of the array. After I do this, I actually want to... Uh, have spaces between all names before increments by one. So I'm just going to do BR basic space in HTML. And let me just go over this code before I run this and look, everything looks good. Let's run. And here we have it. So we have our first line here, right? Then we have Mac, we have Bob and we have Chris. Now the reason you're like, well, why is Mac? Why is Bob on top? And I'm going to fix that. It's because I forgot to add a space right here. So I'm just going to do, actually, I'm not even going to make a new line. I'm just going to do plus BR. And we should run this now and it should be good. Yeah, we have Bob, Mac, Chris, and Tycho. And here we have the full line. That's basically it, guys, for uh, for that tutorial. Now, we, we, we did this pretty fast. We did this in four minutes. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going <clears> to <throat> erase all this now and do a uh, something new. So I'm going to do uh, a function function and I'm going to name this function display and brackets here. 
alert now you guys are probably like well we learned this already why are we doing this the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to be using this uh, this function in an event now i think i spelled the event wrong but <laughs> I have to fix it. This is bothering my eyes. There we go. So this is the click event. Click event. There we go. And now we're going to go to the HTML part. Now we haven't done HTML in all my tutorials. So I would kind of recommend doing learning HTML before going to going into learning JavaScript. But if you guys want to learn HTML by Mac HD tutorials over here, just put in the comments below. And now after the JavaScript tutorials, I'll start straight into HTML and CSS. So let me just do this right here. So I'm going to do an input type and I'm going to do type and I'm going to put submit or I'm just going to call it button button and then we're going to have a value of button and name button and then we're going to set something new called on click and on click we're going to run display now let me explain this real quick before we run this baby so on click when you guys learn HTML, if you guys really know HTML, on click you're like, whoa, that's I never learned that. On click is a JavaScript event handler. You have on click on blur. On click is common sense. It's when you click that one element or object. You can use on blur. Basically, on blur is once everything's finished loading. And there's a whole bunch of them. We're probably gonna go over them later on. But let's just get through this now I'm actually gonna run this on the web I believe I don't think I can click a button oh actually I can so we have a button I clicked it and it says this is the event the click event now once again I'm just gonna click it again and there we have it again so guys that's basically it we actually learned a lot we covered a lot I have it uploaded in two days, and it's because I've been really busy with testing. Testing will be over on Monday. Hopefully, I upload another tutorial on probably later today, maybe. And uh, if I don't, I'll definitely upload on Saturday. I actually want to give a shout out to Tycho once again. It's because this mic sounds absolutely amazing, and it's it wouldn't <laughs> I would have never got it. If it wasn't for this guy, and I'm actually making custom controllers. If you get, <laughs> if you guys are interested, message me below. I'm actually gonna have a tutorial maybe later on how to make your own. But that's it, guys. Enough for me talking. You guys are sick of my voice, aren't you? So <laughs> that's, that's it, guys. It's my case tutorials, and uh, I'm out. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and most important, subscribe. Peace out, guys.